And all you're trying to do here is fill the weave. Fill the weave. Okay. Keep it flat. Work from the middle out again. Yes, and I can don't want to you don't want to leave wrinkles. Pretty easy to tell where it's saturated and sealed and where it's not. Yes. You can see. Okay. That's pretty quick and easy. Mm -hmm. See. And you used actually less than a quite a bit less than a quarter cup on that piece. When you consider you didn't use the whole quarter cup and all the excess you've got there. Yeah, probably I did dump on a quarter cup and you can see a lot of it is just getting squeegee to the side here. If you're doing this with uh, nylon, do you do it exactly the same way? I would do it exactly the same way with nylon. All right. Same procedure. Nylon is a little trickier to work with because it stretches more, especially when you're applying it to a, an open framework like you see here. That's a stabilizer for a buzzard bombshell, and they're very thin. Construction is very thin. And it's easy to work on if you put too much tension, uneven tension. You have to be a little bit more careful with the nylon. If you don't stretch it too much and warp your warp your structure. That's it. Now, uh, now we just leave that dry. How long do you think that'll take to dry? Uh, and this kind of humidity, I'd give it two hours perhaps. This urethane dry is fairly slow, but two hours, and then if you just dampen the surface, it'll peel right off the glass. All right. Oh, well, you'll be showing us that too. So yeah, if if it's dry, we'll just peel it off. All right. The damp rain. it set for a few minutes.
put the sheet of Now this will last for a couple of years. This you can leave this dry. So you've uh, roll it up. You've essentially just made yourself something you can't buy, which is a piece of iron on silk. Piece of iron on silk. All right. And about as light as I can seal. Of course, lighter ways of doing it with tissue, perhaps even mylar tissue, perhaps it'd be lighter, but I oh. doubt it would be significantly so. Now, if you had a, if you had a structure to cover ready to go at this point, you could just put that right onto the framework and tack yeah. it down, right? It's ready to go right now. So you wouldn't have to re-wet re it because nope. it's ready to go right now. It's ready to go. Okay. I could put it. But if you it drapes, it drapes, as you can see, it, when, when it's damp, it drapes very nicely. Drapes over your structures. Compound curves, of course, you're going to have to make cuts. You aren't going to get it around complicated curves, but a simple curve like is on the top of a wing. So you got to treat it a little bit like tissue paper when it comes to compound curves. Yes. All right. Now, this here is to show. Here's an example of how long you can keep it. I, I I did this probably two years ago. And you can see it's dry. This is dry. But as you can see it's still supple. Still quite usable. All I'd have to do is dampen it. And I'd be able to use it on a plane. All right. So it holds up. You don't have to use it right away. You can, you can store it. I wouldn't roll it up until it's dry, however, because it might start sticking to itself, especially these sides. Sometimes it will if you leave it face to face together while it's damp. Sometimes it'll, it'll stick together, so I'd wait till it dries before I roll it up. 